Hey, it's been about four years, but thought about maybe posting a few YouTube videos. So bought this Pelican Catch Classic 100. It's a 10 foot kayak. You could stand up in it. It's fishing kayak. And uh, bought it maybe a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago. Figure I'd go over it with you guys and show you what it is and what I've done to it. So looking from the front here, it's got uh, it's got some storage, blockable storage. Got a bunch of stuff in there. There's a little kayak anchor in there. Some 1100 cord, some 550 cord. Um, let's see. Got a dry box in here. Um, it's got scale measuring tape, hand sanitizer, first aid kit. I'll put my wallet, my keys in there. I clip my keys on that. And then it's also, uh, it's also deep, got a deep ring on it with some paracord and then it's clipped inside there as well. I've got, uh, got one of these bolted in. I put this in and then on the other side of the bolts on the inside, I put another one of these just to hook stuff up to. But yeah, so dry box, pretty important on a kayak. Uh, what else do I have in there? Got some rope in case I need to pull it anywhere or tie it up. That is about it. Um, yeah, we, we can all put our heads together and kind of know what that is. Back in there. All that back in there, close her up, lock it. So we got that. Um, let's see, it's got uh adjustable seat. I've got it in the high position now, it could go down into the low position. Low position just makes it easier for paddling. I just leave it in the high position there. It's got a strap there that goes up through, hold your seat on. Um, I put these two bags. They're buttoned onto the seat. Uh, this one's just got my pliers and my braid cutters in it. And this one, I've got a uh, phone tether, rogue phone tether here. And I got it clipped onto that, Molly webbing. I'll keep my phone in there for easy access to it. In case you get a text message, call, one take a picture or something like that. Um, 10 foot long don't know if i said that uh i put this anchor trolley system on here so this is the back and it runs along here got a little ring there runs along there to the front to another pulley i put those in and then what happens is you just pull your string once your anchor's through there you can position yourself in the wind works pretty good that's about all I've done to it uh, this is just uh, tie my anchor off to um, well I did put this in that's a retractable clothesline and what I do is I've just got it clipped here so I don't lose that inside of it but this I run through the anchor uh, trolley ring and clip it to my anchor and then it just the line comes out as I need it and then if I pull up my anchor it automatically takes it back in that way I don't have a bunch of lines sitting in the boat this uh, it's a kayak crate homemade I made it watched some YouTube videos and kind of did my own thing to it um, We'll go over this uh, in a different video, how I made it and whatnot. But I got some uh, D-rings hooked up to that in this side. So if something happens and I tip the kayak, it stays there. We'll go over that in another video. Um, also, of course, got to have a life jacket. Um, I got a whistle in one of these pockets here uh, had to set in kayak 
years ago. I did a um, video on all the mods I did to that, but this is so much more comfortable. That set-in kayak, my back hurt after about three hours of fishing. This, I could fish all day. Um, I could stand up in this, so that helps out a lot if I get tired of setting or my back hurts or something like that. I could stand up, stretch my back, my legs, whatnot, so that helps out a lot. I don't know if I said this either. This is the Pelican Catch Classic 100. It's 10-foot kayak. It's about 60 pounds, so I rooftop this. Um, I know 60 pounds don't sound like much, but it's an awkward 60 pounds. It's 34 inches wide. Um, it's a nice kayak. I enjoy it. I've had it out uh, three or four times, caught fish on it. I'll uh, post some pictures of the fish I caught in it. Um, but yeah, got a paddle, of course, paddle leash that I hook up. Uh, these handles are nice, super nice. They came on it, four handles, and they've got these little holes where you can clip stuff to them on all of them. But yeah, it's a, it's a nice kayak. I'll show you guys my... Uh, my kayak tote uh, in a different video and go over how I made that. Got a little plug here. Let the water out. I haven't had any water in this thing in the three or four times I've taken it out. It did have some orange bungee going through here and wrapped through. Netted through there. I took it out. But yeah, it's, it's nice. Very, very stable. Um, I think the weight capacity on this is 375 pounds, which which is great. So we'll, uh, we'll get some, uh, YouTube videos filmed on this. Like to uh, take it out this winter and do some crappie fishing too. But all right, guys, figured I'd just get back on the old YouTubes and, uh, see, uh, show you guys my kayak. So you guys know the drill. If you remember, get outdoors, enjoy what God's blessed us with. That's the real way.